Shalom. Most high in Christ bless. My name is Captain Joel of Israel United in Christ. Today, we are going to discuss the Dalits, who are the children of Israel from the northern kingdom that migrated from Israel to India, and the curses that affect them today as a people. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Now, caste discrimination affects an estimated about 260 million people throughout worldwide. The vast majority live in South Asia and involves massive violations of civil, political, economic, social, and cultural rights. Caste system divide people into unequal and hierarchical social groups. Those at the bottom are considered less than, than human beings, impure, and polluted to other caste groups who are known as the Dalits or the children of Israel according to the Bible. Let's go to Deuteronomy 28 verse 16. The book of Deuteronomy 28 verse 16. Curse shall thou be in the city, and curse shall thou be in the field. So the untouchables or Dalits are subjected to so-called untouchability practices in both public and private places. The Dalits are often forcibly assigned the most in bonded labor. Due to exclusion practices, they have limited access to resources, services, and development, keeping most Dalits in severe poverty. In addition, Discrimination against Dalits in the educational system is a widespread problem in caste-affected countries. Alienation, social exclusion, and physical abuse transcend all levels of education, from primary education to university. Literacy and dropout rates among Dalits are very high due to a number of social and physical factors. Deuteronomy 28 verse 16, and curse shall thou be in the field. A report by Anti-Slavery and International in 2008 revealed that Dali bonded laborers are employed to carry out the most physically straining and menial types of work in industries such as silk, farms, rice mills, saw pans, fisheries, quarries, and mines, tea and spice farming, Brick hands, textile, and domestic work. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 17. Curse shall be thy basket and thy store. Businesses, operations, and cash affected countries are at a high risk of being based on the economic exploitation or seclusion of cash affected communities and others at the low end of the cash hierarchy. Violations of both national legislation as well as international law, in particular the international labor standards, often occur. Common examples of caste discrimination in business operations are exploitation of workers from caste-affected communities, including the use of children in bonded laborers, debt slaves working under hazardous conditions for minimal payment, Discrimination in employment practices, applicants from caste affected communities never considered for skilled jobs. Let's go to Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 29. Thou shalt grope at noonday, as a blind gropeth in darkness. Thou shalt not prosper in thy ways. Thou shalt be only oppressed and spoiled evermore, and no man shall save thee. Dalits, or the untouchables, has suffered social injustices, police brutality, have been the victims of oppression, let's go to the book, Dalit, the Downtrodden of India. In the 1970s, the followers of the Dalit Panther movement of Mahastra gave currency to the term Dalit as a constant reminder of their age-old oppression, denoting both the state of deprivation and the people who are oppressed. This term of them is not a mere name or title. For them, it has become an expression of hope the hope of recovering their past self-identity. 
So you have a group called the Donnie Panthers that try to rise up to combat the oppression that they suffered in India under the Hindus. Because the Dalits might think that because I look like the Hindus, because I look like the East Indians, why am I being oppressed? You're being oppressed because you are the children of Israel. You're the Northern Kingdom that migrated to the land of India from Israel that mixed in with the nations and that's why you took on the features of the other nations. It's called confusion of faces, but you are the children of Israel from the Northern Kingdom that are being oppressed for breaking God's laws. Now, let's go to page 25 in the same book. One of the best instances of this new wave of Dali liberation movement was the Dali Panther movement in Mahashtra, which made popular the use of the term Dali. Further, there was a rise in the Dali literature in 1960s. Black American literature immensely influenced Dali literature movements. So, the Dali Black Panthers was influenced by the literacy in America's by the Black Panthers. You had the American AIM movement and all the different tribes of Israel rose up in the 1960s after the tribe of Judah, the so-called African Americans, the American Blacks, which rose up against oppression, tyranny, police brutality. It's the same reason why the Dalits rose up in India in 1972 under the Dalit Black Panthers, because why? They followed the head tribe Judah, because the Dalits also are the children of Israel, the northern kingdom of Israel. So the Dali, being the children of Israel of the northern kingdom, as they migrated into India, mixed in with the Aryans or the East Indians today, as well as the Dravidians. They took on the identity, they took on the facial features, and they confused themselves with the people of that land. The Bible says they would be scattered amongst all nations, and they will worship other gods, even wood and stone. That's why today the Dalits take on the gods of the Hindus. They take on the gods of Christianity. They follow the religion of Islam. They follow Brahim, Krishna, and Vishnu. But they don't follow the God of the Bible, who they come from, and that's why they wonder they're being oppressed. They wonder why nobody could save them. Even the Black Panthers rose up, but they couldn't save them because why? They're serving of the gods outside of the God of the Bible which is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 65. And among these nations shalt thou find no ease, neither shall the sole of thy foot have rest. But the Lord shall give thee there a trembling heart, and filling of eyes, and sorrow of mind. And thy life shall hang in doubt before thee, and thou shalt fear day and night, and shall have none assurance of thy life. So amongst all these nations, there shall be no rest. That's why there's no rest amongst them. That's why there's nothing but oppression, worse jobs. That's why you're constantly whipped. That's why you're constantly frogged. And the Bible says, and that life shall hang it down before them. Look into the history. Many brothers and sisters of the Dalit community, they call you the untouchables. They call you the outcasts. But you're the children of Israel. What did they do to you? The same thing that they did to the American blacks. They lynched you and they hung you. They raped your woman. And they abused you. The same thing that happened to us in America is the same thing that happened to you in India. They hang you on a tree. They call it strange fruit. Hanging from a tree. And none of them regard your life. Bible prophecy showing that you're the children of Israel according to the Bible. And nobody can argue or refute it. Verse 22. And if a man have committed a sin worthy of death, and he be to be put to death, and thou hang him on a tree, his body shall not remain all night upon the tree, but thou shalt in any wise bury him that day. For he that is hanged is accursed of God, that thy land be not defiled, which the Lord thy God giveth thee for inheritance. So the Bible says, if a man have committed a sin worthy of death, he be hanged on a tree. Was the Dalits or what they call you the untouchables, the scheduled cast, the outcast? But you're the children of Israel. You're not a scheduled cast. You're not an outcast. You're the children of Israel according to the Bible. Did they not hang you? Did we not just read that in the Bible? Yes. Look at your pictures. Go in your newspaper articles. Look at the Google images. You're the children of Israel that they hang on a tree. 
what people, what nation, what race of people was hung on the tree? The American blacks was hung on the trees. In the late 1800s, we was hung on the trees. Why? Because we broke God's laws. Were you hung on the tree? Yes, you were. Why? Because you broke God's laws. Show you that the curses show who you are. It's time to repent, brothers and sisters. Forget about the confusion of faces. Yes, we are the children of Israel. Yes, the prophets of the Bible are black. So don't be afraid, brothers and sisters. You are the children of Israel according to the Bible. Did you mix in with the other nations? Yes, you did. You took all the features of the other nations. But you're the northern kingdom of Israel that migrated to India from Israel. And you broke God's commandments. It's now high time to repent, brothers and sisters, and come back to your cultural heritage as the children of Israel according to the Bible. Shalom, Most High, and Christ bless you. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is you. And finally, my brother, be strong in the